put at him. When we dissolve the federal government, isn't China gonna take over the United States? <sighs> now, I hear this question usually on the internet. And it's quite funny because you would think that the person asking the question had never heard of the internet. Now, I could point out all the ways in which this question is based on so many logical fallacies. I could talk about how having a military makes us less safe, how militaries protect government's ability to rule and govern, whereas a militia defends the rights and freedoms of a free people. I could talk about the quote by Admiral Yamamoto from World War II, who said that the reason the Japanese didn't invade the mainland was that they would find a rifle behind every blade of grass. I could talk about all the things that make this just a silly, absurd question. But I think what's most important to point out that people don't seem to realize is the domino effect that localization is going to have. No, we do not need to have a complete global paradigm shift in order to realize a free society. We don't need, I know, shocking, we don't need to get everybody on Earth to read Rothbard or Konkin or Paul or even Kokesh, no. We simply need to show people the way forward and how freedom, less government, makes their lives better immediately. And this is where localization not only unites people, but sets an example that the entire world can follow. Now, if you believe that freedom makes us safer, freer, more prosperous, and you understand that there's this thing called the internet, which would make it impossible for the federal government to disappear without anybody noticing, and you're afraid that the result of dissolving the federal government of the United States is that China is going to be able to invade the United States. I gotta just point out, remember, in order for a war to happen, a government has to convince millions of people, gullible young men and women, to dress up in silly costumes and meet in the middle of the field where none of them live to kill each other because they're wearing different colors. Do you really think that after the United States, after the American people decide, no, we are not gonna put up with this tyranny any longer, that the Chinese government is gonna be able to go to their people and go, oh, see America, they're weak, let's invade. No, 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 no. Now, if you really think freedom is a terrible thing and freedom leads to poverty and freedom leads to chaos and anarchy and uh, whatever you wanna call it, then, then uh, pff, by all means, go down that path of illogic and unreasonableness. But no, we know that freedom is in the best interest of humans being able to meet human needs. And when the people in China, people in the rest of the world see that dissolving the federal government of the United States, not only makes the world a lot happier because they no longer have to deal with the foreign policy, they are going to be looking at their governments going, do we really need you? And the answer is going to be an overwhelming no. You do not need a big centralized government for anything at all except to steal from the poor to give to the rich. And really that's the point of government entirely, but there is going to be such a beautiful domino effect when we pull this off in the United States. Now I've railed against the idea of patriotism before, and I suppose that if patriotism is grounded in anything related to government borders created by politicians in circumstance of history, that patriotism is proof that the patriot isn't free. But my patriotism for America is based on what the first American Revolution represented. Brave people came together to overthrow the biggest empire the world had ever known. We have the opportunity to do that here in America once again. And when we do, we will be setting an example for the rest of the world once again. The people in China will not be going to their government saying, please lead us in another war. Please lead us 
and taking over America by force. No, they're going to be saying, get the hell out of our way. And you are going to see that happen all over the world, including in the 50 independent states of America, where there is going to be a race. Now, there might be a time where we have to go, okay, things are settled, everything's calm, we've gotten the state governments stable, but as soon as we see the benefits, which will begin on day one, you are going to see a race to dissolve the state governments down to the counties, and eventually to dissolve the counties down to voluntary communities. And that is the domino effect of localization. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com, as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.